All right, and the uh, version of the week this week goes by the name of Jen. How are you, Jen? I'm fine, thanks. Let's give Jen a round of applause. Round of applause for Jen coming on our show. Absolutely. Jen is the first brave soul here on All Things Sex Radio to uh, come out and... She's open. our first. She is our first. She's and, our first. And we are her first. Yes. <laughs> it's a beautiful moment right now. <laughs> it is a beautiful moment. So, uh, Jen, uh, how old are you? I'm 20. I'm soon to be 21. Soon to be 21. When will you be 21? March 26. Ooh, and happy birthday. I know. It's coming up. Maybe it we is. can find her a date for we her birthday. Take her out. We, we can take her out. I'll have two wingmen. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll teach you. Teach oh, you the tricks Jen. of the trade, Jen. Linda will teach you how to be a wingman. All right. And I'm pretty sure she could be your wingman, too. <laughs> Find you a guy. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, boy. All right. So, Jen, um, you are a virgin. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And um, would you say that you're a virgin uh, by choice, or you just, have you just not found the right guy yet? Well, I don't know. Like, in high school and stuff, I was really always the awkward one, and I was very introverted, and... And I never really had, like, every, I mean, small town, very small town is where I'm from. So, you know, there wasn't really anybody. Everybody had everybody, and they had their own little clique. And I pretty much stayed by myself and read Harry Potter and played video games. <laughs> so you're a, uh, you're a Harry Potter fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, if Harry Potter was interested in you, would, uh, would you be willing to uh, go out on a date with Harry Potter and see where it might go? No. No, why not? No, because... I, uh, he, he's, well, I don't know. He had that whole saving the world bit. That's a little bit too high maintenance for me, I suppose. Oh, so Harry Potter's <laughs> high maintenance. What if he was a little bit lower maintenance? Would, he, would you give him a chance then if he was just an average guy? I guess. Well, yeah, because he's British, so I'd probably be happy about that in the first so, place. So. So, so you have a thing for British dudes? Yes. Uh, let <laughs> me accents are sexy. Accents are sexy, even though Linda doesn't think I have a New York accent. You don't. Uh, this is my performance voice. Pete does. This is my performance voice. Should I put on my performance voice? Yes, you should. I love your Did performance voice. Did it sound voice. different uh, right now? No, no, it doesn't. doesn't. Well, my performance Remember voice this when is I'm this <laughs> Okay, let's go on with the let, interview. Let, let me ask you this, Jen. Um, does Harry Potter have a girlfriend in the movies? I've never seen the movies. Uh, yeah, Ginny Weasley. Okay, and, and do you get jealous when Harry Potter kisses Jenny? No, I don't really like... Well, he's not my favorite character. So. Who's your favorite character? Snape. <laughs> Snape? Isn't he the evil guy? No. No, see, that's the thing. He's like turns I've out to be I've only seen like, three of them. He's like the best guy ever. He's like really cool. And he's played by Alan Rickman, who is my hands down favorite actor of all time. He is like so great. And even though he's like 66, because his birthday was just a couple of days ago. But yeah. Is I he really British? Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So she likes she likes the British, British guys. You should study abroad. You, you I want to. I really Study do. abroad in England. <laughs> Find a guy. I, I absolutely. If you uh, and then you can call us from England oh once God. you get some of the British oh. love that you're looking for. But yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you don't you don't necessarily get jealous when Harry Potter kisses a girl. Does Snape have a girlfriend in the in the movie? Well, sh she's already dead. <laughs> she. Oh wow. So she, she doesn't yeah. have any competition. You, you need to read. You need to read the books. You really do. Or watch or even watch the movies. I mean, it's it's kind of plot devices and everything. I mean, I Harry Potter is, a, I'm a big fan of it, but, you know. Okay. All right. So, but you, li you like the British guys? Y yes. Okay. British, Welsh, Irish. Um, who, who can you, uh, y you know, give our viewers, uh, our li excuse me, our listeners, um, give them an idea of uh, who you think is sexy. Who would have a chance with Jen? Anybody tall that likes to play chess, like Sword of the Rings, um, has has to have to like Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, The Who, The Doors, The Stones, like good classic rock. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay. So, you are a virgin. Yes. You really haven't uh, found the right British guy <laughs> here in America yet. Who's into classic music. Who's into who classical plays music. And is who? tall. Yeah, I if mean. If that's you listeners, you can call us in. Absolutely, 570-484-2212. Jen would love to talk to you. Oh, Absolutely. So uh, let me ask you this, Jen. Uh, do you ever think about sex? Uh, I mean, is it off your radar? I mean, what's your, what's your uh, thought process when it comes to sex? Well, honestly, I, I don't know. Um, do you ever think about it? Yeah, just fleetingly. I don't know. I don't really 
think about it into a point. I mean, I'm too busy with schoolwork, and I, you know, I love to play video games, and I love to watch, you know, anime and all that weird junk. And I just, I'm happy with that right now. And I suppose I'm not gonna. The way I see it is, I'm not gonna go chasing after some guy who doesn't really care. And unless somebody, you know, actually has a general interest in me, other than you know, going, oh hey, nice tits, like, I, I don't. It's just not me. Yeah. Um, the T word is a no no. Um, <laughs> so try we to. We didn't refrain. warn her about the word. Yeah, we we didn't tell That's her the seven fault. the seven dirty words. That's our fault. It's okay. Um, one That's of the seven fault. dirty words on the FCC's list is the T word that you just said. You have so to refrain from that. Yeah, we have to refrain from that. Boobs. Um, the boobs. Oh, I can say boobs. You can uh, say okay. boobs. All right, she boobs. Can. She can say boobs. Boobs. All right. <laughs> let Let me ask you this, Jen. Um, do you ever have sexual dreams? I, I mean. It, um, they're weird. <laughs> weird elaborate, please. sexual dreams. They're I have weird. weird sexual dreams too. Maybe I'm a virgin. Oh God. <laughs> what, what? Tell us. Well, what do you mean by they're weird? Like I had one where I was in school, and for some reason the school was on fire all of a sudden, <laughs> and this this big burly guy came in to like save everybody, but then I just it was weird. I ended up in the bathrooms with them. It was weird. W was the uh, guy that you were having sex British? with in the dream, was he British? I don't know. He, did, know, he didn't he talk. He didn't, he didn't speak. Talk? He didn't talk. Okay. Did he look like Snape? No. No? no. Okay. Um, I mean, is that's the most prominent sexual dream that you remember? Do you remember yeah. any others? I mean... No, because I usually don't have sex dreams. I have weird video game dreams all the time. Video game dreams. Okay. <laughs> are, are you afraid to have sex? Like, I, I mean... No... I honestly, I just don't think that it's something that should be taken so lightly. I mean, there is a lot of, you know, diseases and stuff out there that you can get that you really should pay attention to, and I don't think that it's something that you should just be given so lightly. Ha have you ever kissed someone? No. No? Wow, you've never even been kissed. No. <laughs> um, not even like a tap kiss? We are finding someone on her birthday. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to get her some milk yes, for the birthday. Nah, me. That's my. I'm gonna get her a birthday kiss. <laughs> get her. Yes, we're gonna get her a birthday kiss. I'm gonna be such a good wing person that night. Oh, God, I'm gonna be a wing person that night. Okay. I I, I know. I we're listen, like a wing duo. We are a wing duo. All right. Wow. Never Can't fly been kissed. Without two wings. Um. Do you ever like kiss your hand and practice uh for that <laughs> special moment when it finally uh comes? No. When I when I was a kid, I used to make out with with like uh, like, what are they called? Damn. Wax lips? What? No, no, no. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I used to practice making out. Okay. With, never mind. Not your hand? No. Well, like on the back of my hand, yeah. But, I mean, that was when I was really young. But, all right, we'll, we'll move on. What, what did you practice with? I don't want to say it. Why? Because, be, I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay. Um, so, you've never even kissed a guy. No. Have, have you ever had a boyfriend where you guys just were companions? Mm, nope. and No. No? <laughs> Have, have All of my friends are gay. <laughs> All of my guy friends are gay. Do you have female gay friends? And yeah. your gay fe or g gay guy friends aren't finding you a guy? No. Isn't that what like gay guy friends are for? Well, he, I thought he, they were supposed to be really good at that. He's more nerdy than I am. He's mm. an IT specialist, so he doesn't really okay. have oh. anybody. <laughs> do, you, do, do you like uh, like black British guys or just white British guys? It doesn't really matter. doesn't matter? No preference. Okay. So it's just the accent. The accent really kind of... She's not well, sure yet. I'm she doesn't have a preference. That's not even really the point. The point is, is I respect is a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's one thing for a guy to like my body. But then again, it's another for a guy to like my qualities. Like, you know, I don't care how I look. I mean, I look all right. You know, I'm not a bombshell or anything. But I look okay. And I think that... If a guy really liked me, he would, you know, ask me about what I liked and not how I looked and not pressure me for sex or anything. You never just wanted to go out and have that night of fun? Well, never thought about that? My night of fun is, you know, playing Silent Hill and having some Mountain Dew and... Well, what if there was a guy involved in that? Well, yeah, sure. Pizza and a beer. I wouldn't mind. Well, there you go. Um, let me ask you, when, when, you're, when, when you're, like, watching movies, like... And, and like a sexual scene comes on in a movie, like do you kind of cover your eyes? Are you shy about sex? Or no. No. So you're okay. You know. Oh, yeah. I see. That's another thing. Like, do you know what the Rocky Horror Picture Show is? Yeah. Well, I even get up. I have you know corset, 
you know, um, pantyhose with it, and I get all dolled 